Hey, Wondell. Welcome back. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. How you doing? Good, good. Uh, when you, you know, have to kind of make the decision to transfer, uh, you know, Coach Stoops mentioned, like, you know, I think it was last month, you know, there were some hurt feelings, obviously, when you, kind of the way things played out the first time around. Um, for you, just how do you kind of assess how that went and just trying to get past that and, you know, making the decision to come here now? Um, I think that was just kind of me of kind of being young and under a lot of pressure from a lot of different people, um, pulling me from all different sides. And um, I think that's kind of what people sometimes forget is the pressure that was I was kind of put under during that time and just everything. Everybody wanted me to go to a certain school and that kind of thing and being from Kentucky. Um, so it did kind of hurt a little bit just – deciding to go to Nebraska, but um, deciding to come home, they opened me back with welcome arms. They weren't holding that against me at all or anything like that. So it was just really good to know that they really wanted me on their football team. Nick Rouse. What was the reaction like when ultimately everybody, friends and family and whatnot, found out you were coming back to Kentucky? Um, everybody um, was everybody happy. Was happy. I mean, everybody I mean, it's, a, it's a lot better drive than 12 hours to come watch me play football. Um, 30 minutes right down the road, so I get to see a lot of my family. Um, so everybody was just excited and excited to see me play back home. Was, was the recruiting cell different, or how was it different this time around versus two or three years ago, whatever that was? Um, well, it was just much shorter, much much shorter time period of how long you had to decide. Um, coaches were just calling at any point in the day and that kind of thing. So um, then having just go ahead and tell schools that I was just kind of already have my mind made up and those kind of things. So, How, how did the, the changes in the offensive coordinator, did that make any impact on your decision? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, seeing that Liam was hired here and he was bringing in um, more of a pro-style scheme and just seeing the things that I could do to hopefully get to the next level um, and then actually getting to talk with him. Um, during the recruiting process and just sit down with him and actually watch just a little film and things like that of things that I could do. And that just really was what really sold me, so. Larry Vaught. Hey, Wondell, nice to talk to you again. For, for those of us now that haven't seen you for a couple of years since you were at Western Hills, how, how have you changed as a player and as a person maybe? Um, I mean, I feel like I've always been the same person. I've, I don't really feel like I've changed and um, I've just grown up a lot. Um, but on the football field, I mean, I don't really play. Well, now I don't think I'll be in the backfield as much as and I hope not. So um, won't be seeing a lot of that and just overall just getting better in all aspects of my game. So. And, and were you really surprised that they welcomed you back with open arms to Kentucky? Did you really think they might not? Um, I wasn't too surprised. I mean, at the end of the day, it's football, and they know, they know the situation, and um, they understood what, what happened, and I understood what happened, and then we just kind of came to – an agreement that it was just kind of all over with and we didn't really have to think about that anymore, so. Thank you. Lee K. Howard. One day on that, that all that's uh, behind you and the decision to come to Kentucky is, is now a thing. How eager are you just to get started with spring football this next week and start uh, working with your new new team? I mean, I'm really excited. I mean, it's been fun just working out with these guys and um, just getting to know everybody. So I'm really excited to put on pads and actually start practicing and just get to get get around everybody. Okay, Tick Gabriel. Wondell, one of the, the needs this team has had for the last couple seasons has been a downfield threat, someone to stretch the field. Were you aware of that? And did you all talk about that during the process? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, Coach Stoops, they told me that they just needed a little spark on the offense. Um, I mean, obviously, the run game was there. Um, they just need some guys that just have some explosive plays and just stretch the field and open up the box a little bit so that we were just more balanced on offense. So, Derek Carey. Along the lines of the question, uh, a few of those questions that, that were asked, uh, Obviously, when you were recruited by Kentucky, you probably know quite a few of the guys on the roster, but I was just wondering, since you've been here, who some of those guys that maybe you've become close with or maybe with COVID still going on, I don't know how good a relationship you've been able to build yet with some of the other. Uh, I mean, just with guys that I already knew, uh, me and JJ, we, we had played together in middle school, and so I had known him from whenever we were really younger. Um, Bo Allen and then Justice Dingle and just all those kind of guys. I mean, I've really gotten along with everybody, and outside of football, I try to get – get to see everybody and at least do something just to get to know people, so. Josh Moore. 
I actually wanted to ask about Bo one day. How nice is it to be on the same team as that guy instead of having to watch him throw passes on the <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> He's not throwing touchdown passes against my high school anymore where I'm just chasing all over the field trying to stop him. So. <laughs> Lay Yeah, kind of following up on that one day, I know you and Bo talked some in high school about playing together in college and all. So you got ready to, to make your decision to come back to Kentucky. Did you call and get any advice from Bo or ask any questions or any information or anything? Um, it was never really like information or anything. I just, just kind of asked how he was feeling about the team and just how he felt about the new offensive coordinator coming in. And, I mean, he just told me, he was like, if you decide to come home, I mean, I'm sure we'll all be happy to have you. And um, we had gotten to throw a little bit during quarantine, so I kind of know how he is already with uh, throwing the football and things like that. So we've we got we kind of gotten a little comfortable already, so. Josh Moore. I don't know enough about Nebraska uh, to be up front as far as, like, the offensive line and stuff there goes. But watching what Kentucky did here, you know, when they had just – struggled in the past game but what they did operating with their line and especially that year with Lynn Bowden like what were your thoughts watching that kind of stuff because you're just seeing that even though you don't want to be in the backfield just the inventiveness and 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 some of the things that you you can do when you have a really strong offensive line I mean it was just crazy to see it was like you knew they were going to run the ball and it just kept working so, I mean, I remember sitting in my house and I'm just like, I don't know how you can't stop it if you know it's coming. But obviously that O-line did a lot of work and I mean, I'm seeing it in person now, so I really get to see why, so. Derek Terry. Yeah, Will Levis won't be here for a few more months, but obviously you played against him at Nebraska uh, this past season. Just from what you know about him, just any thoughts on his game? Uh, I mean, he's a big kid, strong arm. Um, we've actually gotten to talk a little bit whenever he decided, well, whenever he hit the portal and um, he had known that I was coming here. So he was just kind of getting my thoughts and things like that. So um, I was excited whenever he decided to come here too, um, just to give us another arm in that room. And so hopefully have a really good battle with figuring out who's going to be our quarterback. John Long. Hey, Wandale, with your background, you knew you would get a lot of encouragement and support from people in Kentucky. Are you surprised at the level of chatter that's been ratcheted up due to your return? Um, I mean, not really, just kind of how everything went on whenever I decided to leave. Um, so I knew that it would kind of be a lot of chatter with just with me coming back. So, um, I mean, I'm excited about it. I like it. Um, I don't really I don't, I don't try to pay too much attention to it, but it's kind of hard to get away. So. Josh Moore. I've said for a while that I've, I've I've had to think that Josh Ali was one of the most excited guys to 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 hear that you were coming. What have you have you gotten the how much have you gotten to spend you know talking to him and just talk about what you all might be able to do now that you know you know it makes your both of your lives a little easier to have each other out there. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, we haven't specifically just talked on that, but um, just talking football and just things that he sees on the field and things like that. Um, and how, like, just how his perspective from last year and my perspective from my school. Um, so that's just really where we've tried to connect and just on the field trying to help each other and whatever we can learn in this new offense. Nick Roush. You, you mentioned a couple times uh, Coach Cohen's new offense. What, what in particular uh, can really help you show off your, your skill set about this offense? What, what makes it uh, so friendly to you? Um, it's just um, matchups. It's just um, a lot of the pass game goes through that slot guy. Um, and so that's just really what I want to do and just being a f official route runner and being able to catch a lot of balls just to move the chains. What do you think you've learned after playing college football for two years? Uh, just that, what have you gained from that experience? Um, I mean, I've gained just experience in general. Um, now just being out there, I, I know just to go out there and play. I don't have to think too much and thinking about coverages and things like that because I've really – I've seen a lot now. So um, it'll be different being in the SEC, but it's – at the end of the day, it's football, so. One Wondell, do you figure to be involved in the return game any? Is that something you would like to be involved in? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I feel like that's an asset that I bring to the table. So um, just anything to help our team win, and I feel like that's one area I could help. Josh Moore. Just being a 
you know, a high profile transfer, even with, without the connection to Kentucky, you would have been a, a really big transfer coming into the program. With, with the way that that rule's changing and, and how those, you know, things are being handled going forward, um, just what do you just, do you think there's, because I think before there might have been like a stigma to guys transferring, but it doesn't, it seems like that's pretty much gone away. Do you think that's the case or how do you kind of evaluate that? Um, I mean, I definitely think so. I mean, at the end of the day, sometimes you just have to do what's best for you at, for your future. Um, I mean, that's just kind of how I took it. Um, so, I mean, you just have to look at the situation. Everybody's situation is different. So, I just don't think you can fault everybody for just one thing. So, I think you just have to look at the situation and determine from there.